Hello and welcome to me and my golf TV. We're your coaches Andy and Pearce and thanks for joining us here for the Impact Show on the beautiful 16th at the Asprey in Shropshire, England. Loads of great questions coming in this week again from you guys, so make sure you post them down below. What are you struggling with guys? We can help you. Make sure you post them and we'll choose a winner for next week. So we've got a question today from Darren Southgate Pearce saying, I'm having trouble with my driver. I keep missing the fairway left and right. I don't know what's going on. Please help. Uh, yes, needs help because you're missing left and right. We've all been there. It is a horrible thing to have when you're on that tee. It is definitely. So what we thought we'd talk about today is one of the things that's really overlooked when it comes to driving accuracy, and that is contact. A lot of our videos, Pierce, we talk about squaring the face to the path, yep. you know, to, to create a better accuracy. But one thing that a lot of guys don't actually maybe check and practice, and that's contact with the driver. So for consistency, it's pretty important for, to actually strike the ball roughly around the centre. Yep. Um, but also tested as well, and specifically with the driver pitch. Yeah, it is. I mean, the driver is a different shape to the rest of the clubs, obviously. It's, got, it's, it's a curved hitting area. Um, we have gear effects when we have off-centre hits, more so with the driver. And basically, that means if for the right-handed golf, if you hit the golf ball out of the toe, the ball will bend, hook to the left. If you hit the ball out of the heel, it will cut to the right or fade to the right or slice to the right. So uh, it's, it's really important that you understand where you're hitting the golf ball and I don't think that I've ever had anybody on a golf lesson come to me and say I'm hooking or slicing the golf ball because my contact is off. Yeah. They'll often say their face could be off or their path could be off or even some really crazy things that it could be. But actually, they've never, I don't think I've ever had anybody say, look, my strike is off, which is causing me to slice and hook it. Definitely. And the pros will know generally where they're hitting it from. So, look, it's something that really made the purpose of this video. We want to bring some awareness to the contact. You know, don't always go immediate to face to path. Think about where you're striking the golf ball. So. What we're going to do today, we're going to put Pierce under the spotlight. We're going to test his striking out. Oh, we're going to hopefully get a middle strike on the first shot. And that's then we're going to get a toe and a heel. And just see the difference in the, the ball flight, yep. okay, where it finishes. But also, I'm going to test you out to see your awareness. I'm going to ask you where you think you struck each oh one from. Goodness, it's early in the morning, you know. We've got the hats on, it's cold. Come on. <laughs> right, okay, so we've got Trapman to help us with this as well. Yep. Um, we've actually got this uh, foot spray that we use, so you can get this at any chemist. Uh, basic, well, impact spray, as we call it now. And all we're going to do is put a, a light coating on the club like so. There you go. And from there, we know where the golf ball has been hit from. Okay, so that's as simple, simple as, as that. Simple as that, eh? So target-wise, we're going to go at the corner of the... Right, well, sorry, the left bunker there. Yeah, so right hand edge of the left hand bunker. And we're and going to assume, one. the middle one, thanks. We're going to assume, well, I'm going to do my best on all these shots to have a club path which is very similar. So a consistent club path, but then obviously we'll see what happens to the results depending on the contact. Okay, so, so this is the middle one, is middle it? Yeah, one, yep. thanks for that. Okay, here we go. And that's a nice little. It's like a little cut, maybe a, a yeah. two-yard fade, but finished probably three yards left of the corner. So nice shot there, Pierce. That's pretty much in the middle. I would Are say you that's sure? quite. Yeah, you, you're testing me here. I don't like this game, Andy. I'm uncomfortable already. Okay, so let's have a look at that one. So it says on. Okay, yeah, ever so slightly heel. So slightly heel. Okay, so that was slightly heel. So pretty good. Pretty good numbers there. Your path there was 0.1. So your path was actually that's pretty, pretty good. Pretty good there, <laughs> that's pretty good, isn't it? Pretty good. So, so the thing for me would be with that that. If I were to really have paid attention to the shot there and seen that little bit of cut, then that slight heel strike could have been, any, could have been a little bit to do yeah, with so that. So that was a great golf swing, a little bit heely, okay. which may cause the cut. Let's go for a toe strike okay. and let's see what the toe... Sh so toe you're, on the, you're on the fairway, that was a good shot, Pierce. Nice shot, wasn't it? It wasn't far off. How, how far off the centre of the fairway was that? Let's see it? if you can get three to order. Couldn't have been far away. All right, out the toe then. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do exactly the same swing feeling. I'm just going to address it out of the toe. Ah, <laughs> now... Now we have some shape, and interesting with the, often when we hit the ball out the toe as well, the ball will start right and then it'll turn to the left. I know absolutely that was out of the Are you toe. sure? Okay, right, so let's have a look at this No then. question. So just bring it down, Piss, so and get a clearer view. There, so, so yeah. there we go. So that was miles out the toe. Yep. Now, interesting enough there, your path was 0 0.3. So Which hardly any difference in path, but obviously that ball has missed the fairway to the left. The spin axis on that, yep. okay, was negative 15.2. Wow. Okay. So that's why big, big difference that's how much one. that. So you've hit a, a very good golf swing, but the toe strike has missed the fairway. And that's amazing, isn't it? Because if I was with a client on the golf course and they hit that shot there, they're going to be talking about all sorts of different things. You know, should I do the picture frame finish and things like that? Well, you know what? You need to look at your contact. Okay, so two perfectly executed shots. Give me a heel strike, Pierce. Heel strike then. Here Same we go. swing if you can. So I'm going to dress it out the heel. And I'm going to do the same swing. 
Oh, it's not that much out of the heel. There's a little bit of a cut, but I definitely felt it was a little bit out of the heel. That's moving off target slightly. Which oh, pretty, it's pretty much the same as the other one. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hit another one. Let me hit another that one. That was Andy. center, that was, yeah. I can get another one a bit more out of the heel than that. That was center, yeah. So that was actually, you know what? I mean, it was still a nice shot. It was a little bit, I think it was a little bit more heel side than the first one. Oh uh, yeah, do you know what? It says your path was a little uh, little left on that, so really? your little your left, so that's would have would have caused the cut. Okay. All right, here we go then. So this one's gonna be a little bit more out the heel. Okay. Just shows that I'm easy, it's easy for me to get out the toe then, doesn't it? All right, heel side. That was definitely heel. Quite a big cut on that one. Okay, so that's just finished right side of the target. So here path again, so let's have a look at the heel on that. So you can see the uh, other one over the top of that, but definitely a heel strike there. Again, path very similar, it zero point something, a shot, was it? But if we take a look at the, um, the path on there, the path actually was a little left. Okay. But your spin axis on there, now, if you think about it, to hit a straight shot, we want the spin axis around zero. Yeah. Your spin axis was 14.9. Okay. Yeah, plus 14.9. So, so that's so big, tilted big difference. a lot there, yeah. So you can see the paths were very similar. There may have been differences in the face, but not massive differences. But you can see on how the golf ball has curved through the air, the big differences on it. And you can see, actually, for me, the destructive one for me would definitely be the toe one. So if I toe end it, I am going to hook and miss the fairway yeah. left. If I hit the ball out the heel, I'm actually going to be not bad. I probably can still hit the fairway. Definitely. And I think what, what the purpose, again, as we said, the purpose of this video, guys, is look, don't always think to yourself, I've hit a hook, it means my face is closed. I've hit a fade, it means my face is open. You need to test the strike. And the great thing about this, if your strike pattern is, let's say, um, a little heely, okay, and you tend to slice it, mm -hmm. then working your way up towards the toe, high toe, is actually going to help you because it's going to help turn that bit of a slice into more of a draw. So you'll start to see how important the way you strike the golf ball is on the face. And I think if you're aware of your numbers, your path, you've had golf lessons and you've been aware of this, if you haven't had golf lessons, you're not aware of it, go and have one and, and find that out. But if you can couple that with this, you can really understand how your golf swing works and then what parameters you need to be in. Because some of the best players in the world, as Andy said, don't hit the ball perfectly in the centre and they trend it in the heel or the toe to suit their swing. Definitely. Okay, guys, hope that helps. Um, more of a sort of understanding today, yeah. but make sure you get some spray, give it a go on the range, test your awareness. Now, that's what I'd like to see, actually. Hit, to hit a shot and guess to see where you actually strike it. You'll be interested with the uh, results. i tell you what to do as well. Post some pictures on our Facebook page or Instagram, whatever you want to do. Tag us in some photos of you with these contacts and see if you can impress us with some really central ones. Definitely. So make sure you leave a comment below for next week, remember, guys, and make sure to subscribe for the channel for lots more videos every week. Thanks for watching. So to stay up to date with what's going on, make sure you check us out on our other social media platforms, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Is that all, Andy? Loads are there, aren't there? There's a lot there, isn't there? Okay, also, if you're interested in really improving your golf this winter, make sure you go to mearmygolf.com, click on the link down there. Loads of fantastic videos, video series, and some very big updates coming soon. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you soon.